What's up everybody, I'm Hoops and Hip Hop, and welcome to 10 Facts You Don't Know About the Alola Region. Now, as this video is being recorded prior to the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Alola Region at this point is still the most recent region we have been to, and therefore it is still pretty fresh in a lot of people's minds. However, with that said, for all that is currently known about the Alola region, I am willing to bet that there are still some things that you personally do not know about it, and that is exactly what this video is all about. So why don't you go ahead and put your knowledge to the test and see if I can't teach you a few things you don't know about the Alola region. Okay, why don't we go ahead and start this video off the way we would start any Pokemon game off, and that would be with a fact about Route 1. Now, the Route 1 in the Alola region is rather significant because it is actually the biggest first route in any main series Pokemon game as of this recording. Moving on to Ula Ula Island, in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, there is a man in the Ula Ula Fairy Terminal who will give you a nugget, and he also says that he digs up a lot of nuggets on the Sevi Islands. This utterance actually heavily suggests that this man is the same exact man who can be found on Three Isle Path in the Sevi Islands in Fire Red and Leaf Green, who is also digging for gold and also has a similar bit of dialogue. One of the differences between Pokemon Sun and Ultra Sun and Moon and Ultra Moon are the totem Pokemon that you fight during your first island trial. In Sun and Ultra Sun you will fight a totem Gumshoes, and in Moon and Ultra Moon you will fight an Alolan Raticate. However, in the case of this Raticate, there's actually something peculiar going on with it, because once it appears on the screen for the first time during your island trial, it will actually use the cry of the totem Gumshoes from Pokemon Sun instead of its own cry. Take a listen. Another fact about the Ultra games is that in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon at the Hokulani Observatory, if you go to the far left corner of the main corridor in the building, you will actually run into a Magnemite, and when speaking to this Magnemite, you'll find out that it speaks in Morse code. Well, if you translate the boops and beeps into actual Morse code, this message will actually translate into the word Alola. An interesting fact about the Haina Desert location within the Alola region is that it is currently the only place in the Pokemon world that has naturally occurring harsh sunlight that is not directly caused by the legendary Pokemon Groudon. One of the most iconic locations in the Alola region is Po Town on Ula Ula Island, as it serves as the base of operations for Team Skull, and within Po Town, you have the true HQ of Guzma himself, the Shady House. In Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, if you go into the Shady House and enter into the room directly north of the front door, there is a chance that you will have an encounter with a Delibird. However, this isn't any normal random encounter because the Delibird will actually be seen coming down through the chimney and into the fireplace and staying for a brief moment before going back up through the chimney, which is an obvious reference to Santa Claus since Delibird is also partially based on Santa. Also in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, in the exclusive Pikachu Valley location, there is a Pikachu-themed house trailer in this location, which, if you try and walk into, you'll be greeted with a Pikachu every time that effectively prevents you from actually entering the trailer. However, on a very rare occasion, instead of being greeted by a Pikachu in the front doorway of the trailer, you will actually be greeted by a Mimikyu instead, who will appear and then subsequently scurry back inside of the trailer. Afterwards, if you try to tell the man attending to the Pikachu Valley about your encounter, he will straight up tell you that he doesn't believe you and that you must have been mistaken. So many of you probably know that the islands of the Alola region are named after colors. Mele Mele Island, for instance, is named after the Hawaiian word for yellow, Mele Mele, and it's actually based on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. However, something you might not know about the island is that the official flower of the island of Oahu is the Alima, which is actually the name of the lone trial captain that you can find on Mele Mele Island. Speaking of the names and the colors of the islands, one very interesting thing that is very easy to miss if you're not paying close attention is that each of the kahunas of the four islands is actually wearing an article of clothing that corresponds to the name of the island that they are responsible for. So for example, Hala is wearing a yellow shirt as he is the kahuna of Mele Mele Island, you have Olivia wearing a pink shirt as she is the kahuna of Akala Island, which represents pink, you've got Nanu who represents 
represents Ula Ula Island wearing a red undershirt, and red is the color of that island. And finally, we have Pony Island, whose color is purple, and Hapu, the kahuna of Pony Island, sports a purple bonnet. And finally, for our last fact of the video, we are going to end on a rather somber note. On Route 5 in the Alola region, there are a pair of twins you can battle named Isa and Nico. However, these two twins have a lot more going for them than just a simple double battle. The names of these two twins are most likely a reference to the names of the daughters of Eric Madal. Eric Madal worked for the Pokemon Company as their creative design director until he was tragically killed in 2016, the same year that Sun and Moon released, when a tree actually fell onto his car and crushed him in the Seattle area. The names of his daughters were likely given to the pair of twins on Route 5 after this occurred as a way to honor him and all that he had done for the Pokemon franchise. And there we have it, everybody. Those were 10 facts you probably didn't know about the Alola region. Now, I always love doing these types of videos because I really love teaching you guys new things about the Pokemon games, and I love learning new things myself. So if you guys did happen to learn anything new, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you happen to know everything on this list, definitely let me know with a comment as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for way more Pokemon content every two Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and if you'd like to support the channel further, consider checking me out on Spotify, giving some of my Pokemon music a listen there, because it directly supports the channel and it is very, very much appreciated. With all that being said though, I will be back on Saturday for another video, so be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as it goes live, and until then, as always, I hope you know I love you guys, and I will smell you guys later.